Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is what's new in the June update. Here we have a heading, but the wrapping is messy. We can now let the browser fix this for us with the new balance property, all with a single click. Next up, page sorting. I can now right click on a folder to sort all pages within alphabetically. I can also right click on the page header to do this for all pages at once. Next, if your breakpoint is a stack and you change the order, you can now reset that order overwrite from the breakpoint. Next, Framer now supports animations between solid colors and gradients. Next, if any drop-down control in Framer has focus, you can now hit escape to unfocus. Next, any layer depending on min or max sizing now has access to all distribute options like space between. Next. If you've connected your form to a Google account, you can now head over to the settings and disconnect here to select another. Next, new text shortcuts. Let's add a category field. I'll duplicate, add the category, and then wrap them in a stack. I'll set direction to horizontal, but they both have width set to fill. I can now hit Shift A to instantly make them auto-sized allowing for a much faster editing experience. And last but not least, gradient masks now also support compositing. This means you can combine it with image masks, for example. Here we can add, subtract, intersect or exclude this gradient from the existing image mask. I'll go with intersect to add a subtle fading effect to the bottom of our asset. This gives you tremendous flexibility as you can combine different gradients or different images with gradients, all on a single layer. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to go to framer.com slash updates to see everything else that's new. And as always, stay tuned for more updates coming soon.